That cookie down. Cookies are for closers. So I laughed hysterically for the entirety of this movie. It's awesome. Um, and I saw the film with a whole bunch of kids, and I thought, oh man, this is gonna be a disaster. But the kids were like quiet, and they laughed, but no temper tantrums for 90 minutes, which I think is a huge victory, right? A room full of kids captivated. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And we have the opportunity <laughs> to, uh, to preview our movies, you know, and, and 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 we've always had that with kids because I think they can connect with it on a certain level, whether they had a brother or sister and that sort of thing. But you always know when the kids are rocking in their seats that you've kind of lost them. And unfortunately on this movie, we, we didn't have that because I think we connected, you know, or Marla Frazee's book that inspired the movie put it best, you know, about like when a baby comes into a parent's life, um, uh, you know, it's the boss. And, and putting it in the point of view of an older kid getting a brother or sister, I think that's every kid's worst fear, is that there isn't gonna be enough love for them. And so that was kind of the spine of the movie and the theme of the movie of, of like, what is love? Is uh, giving love better than getting love? And, and you know, and so we wanted to connect with kids, but it was even just as important for us to connect with adults. Since we have Alec Baldwin, we, right. we should entertain adults as much as kids, you know. And so we're trying to, to, to hit the, the yeah. ten quad demographic, yeah. as and, we like to say. And that's a, <laughs> it's a challenge, right, to make a film that kids like and adults like as well, and yeah. it worked because you've got a parent and a child, and they're both laughing, maybe at different stuff, and maybe for different reasons, but they're both laughing. I think yeah. a really cool um, aspect of the film is that it was made at a time when we grew up, so there were no cell phones, no iPads, no video games, so it, kids had to rely, we all had to rely on our imagination in order to, you know, keep ourselves, ourselves occupied. And it really defined Tim Templeton. Um, you know, he, the whole movie is in his point of view and, you know, his fantasy and, it's, you know, Tim celebrates the power of childhood. And you know, in it, in it, and because of that, you know, parents, you know, something is awakened in parents, but kids also can relate to this this fantasy. I had, a, or still have, a younger brother, and I remember when he was a baby. I remember lifting him up, and he threw up in my face. I remember oh, yeah. that. Vividly. That happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> he got you. He right. got yeah. you. So, and then I, all this whole my life, my whole life, I thought, well, that's cute. That's what babies do. Now I'm thinking he did it on purpose. <laughs> facing me Probably. out, little boss baby. Probably facing me yeah. out. There's always yeah. the one-upmanship. I mean, my brother and I are two years apart, and we were very competitive, especially through your teenage years, you know. And and at the end of the day, you know, we're best friends, and and this is kind of an homage to, you know, uh, sibling rivalry, and and you know, we don't really have to compete with each other because you know, there's no stronger bond than family, and you know, that's the spine, the heart of the movie. But you know, just just laughing at ourselves and how we grew up and laughing at family it was just like a stream of comedy and then you throw Alec Baldwin into the mix and, and it, was, it was a lot of fun. And they say that laughter is the doorway to the heart and so we wanted to have as much laughter but also move people at the same time. And, and Alec Baldwin is I don't know one of the biggest stars in the, in the universe right now I mean he has been for a while but especially now the guy's on fire uh, all the actors are great. I mean, you had some big actors, but Alec Baldwin, what's it like to have that guy on set? Well, you know, we record him and, 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 and you know, and, and I'm sitting with him in the booth and, and the, the hard part is he'll surprise you with a line that you didn't think was funny. He'll make it really funny and you have to like, you know, bite your finger, bite your script pages to keep from blowing the take. And, you know, he... He just knows where the comedy is, and he does so many great impressions. I mean, we've seen him on Saturday Night Live, he, whether he's immersing himself in that character or in a baby, he just completely commits. He commits so much that during the course of this movie, uh, he started with one child and now he has four. Yeah. And so, uh, he, <laughs> method, he, he, he's a method he, actor. Yeah, method, yeah. Lots of reference. And, and when, when baby got too old, he'd have another one. Yeah, so yeah, he keep yeah. tapping That's into what makes him such a genius. Yes. 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 Incredible. Last thing is, not only do you have adorable babies, you've got adorable puppies. That's it, right? You've got like the, what, could, what else could we throw on this, this pile of adorableness? How could you go wrong with babies and puppies? You can't. Yeah. No, 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 you can't. Or kittens or anything, you know. And, and we just found it funny that a lot of people now are opting for pets over children. You know, and, and you know, we kind of sprung board off that idea of all these different cute things competing for love. And we just thought it was really funny. Run, 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 run.